Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your ASUS router. And before I start, I would like to remind you that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. So, the first step is to power on the router. Take the power adapter. Connect one end of the power adapter to a wall socket and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. Once it's on, an indicator will light up. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port is often called WAN and is usually a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks into place. Now you need to reset the router back to its factory settings. Press and hold the router's reset button for 10 seconds. Wait until the lights on the router start to flash. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will restart and all the settings will go back to their original factory settings. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into an Ethernet port. Plug the other end into your computer or laptop's Ethernet card. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But before we begin, I will demonstrate an alternative way to connect the router if you don't have an ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an ethernet port. Just connect the router to the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will be named as your router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, come up with a new login and password to access the router's admin panel. Next, click on this button.
Here you can choose the language of the router's admin panel. I will leave it in English. Next, let's move on to the router settings. To do this, click on this button. Wait until it finishes checking the connection type. On the next page, you can change the name and password of your Wi-Fi network. You can keep the default credentials, but to change them, click here. Create a new name and password. Pay attention to the password requirements and save the settings. On the next page, you will see all your Wi-Fi information. Click on this button. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network. If you want to change the name and password of your Wi-Fi network in the future, you can do it here. Now you need to reboot your router. Wait a couple of minutes until the router is fully powered on. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, you can try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go back into the router's admin panel. Then go to the WAN section. And on this page, click the Mac clone button. Save the settings. Reboot the router again. After a couple of minutes, when the router is fully powered on, check again if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.